2018 Chevrolet Traverse First Review. Not just better, one of the best. My daughter and I ate our ice cream sheltering under an umbrella from an unexpected cloudburst, watching the pelting rain break up the Friday night live festivities on Front Street in Traverse City, Michigan. It wasn't long before we were joined by others, all of us watching as street vendors hurried their wares back into their vans as potential customers turned tail and ran from the rain. I struck up a conversation with a woman who had joined us under our island of dryness, and as we exchanged pleasantries, I mentioned I was on a work trip to drive the all-new 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. She exclaimed that she owned a 2009 Traverse, and intended to replace it soon, asking if the 2018 Traverse was worth the wait. Oh, yes. Definitely worth the wait. Chevrolet had flown my family and me to Michigan to drive the 2018 Traverse the way families will actually use it. We loaded our bags in Detroit, hit the road for the four-hour drive to Traverse City, and wound up putting nearly 700 miles on this SUV, allowing a much deeper dive into its capabilities, strengths and weaknesses than is the norm for these kinds of vehicle introductions. And after all that, there's one simple conclusion. The 2018 Chevrolet Traverse is a winner. The 2018 Chevrolet Traverse looks something like a Chevy Tahoe that was left in the dryer too long. The dimensions aren't exactly tidy, as this big vehicle is even longer than the full-size Tahoe. But the proportions are spot on, and we love the body-colored C-pillar and tasteful use of chrome highlights, especially on higher-end models. The Premier and High Country offer unique touches such as LED headlights with futuristic-looking lenses and unique wheels. Inside, you'll find seating for seven or eight in an interior that Chevy says takes a lot of its color and trim cues from men's fashion. The idea is to offer a stylish place to spend time that will appeal to both genders equally, and considering the universal approval of our group, we'd say Chevy succeeded. I was particularly fond of the subtle use of color in our gray-on-gray -gray interior the soft touch surfaces on the dash and doors, and the piano black surfaces on the center console. I do wish Chevy would spend more money on the lower door panel and lower console plastics. Our route took us north out of Detroit, first to visit friends who happened to be staying in Lapeer, Michigan, and then ultimately to Traverse City itself. In my head as we departed our downtown Detroit hotel, I was mentally laying out the luggage Tetris that would be needed to fit our five suitcases and other bags in the Traverse, and had concluded one of the third row seat backs would need to be folded. So imagine my surprise when it all fit perfectly behind the seats, with enough space to even lay a backpack on top without blocking the rear view. Translate that to a load of groceries especially when you use the underfloor storage, and even minivan owners like me will be won over. Detroit's famously bad roads gave the Traverse its first workout. The suspension boasts a lot of roll stiffness to keep the vehicle from leaning too much in corners, but it's still compliant enough that big and small bumps don't upset the interior. Even though the new Traverse is a big SUV, it didn't affect maneuverability on the narrow streets of Detroit and Traverse City later, with a relatively tight turning radius, good sight lines, and the available around view camera making it easy to parallel park, or flip a quick U-turn.